agree with that. We both agree with that. Uh, move on to the next topic here. Oklahoma State. Now, you remember Mike Gundy? It wasn't too terribly long ago that he was like, look, we're going to have players back on campus June 1st, and da-da-da. And then, obviously, the athletic director and the school president had to come out and, and kind of kick that back down and say, whoa, 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 we don't really know yet. You know, that was in April, like late April, uh, when everything was still just up in the air. Who knows what's going to happen? And now, here we are in June. Freshmen are supposed to be reporting soon. June 15th is their official come-back-to-campus date in Stillwater. And... 247 Sports is reporting that incoming freshmen on the football team were told not to report to campus this week as a result of three current Cowboys players testing positive for coronavirus. Now, the crazy thing about this, uh, all three were asymptomatic positives. Uh, They did over 150-plus tests uh, across the community of student-athletes, staff, administration, etc. during the reopening protocols So this week. you know the the AD said positives were expected, and the plan for that scenario has been enacted or uh, has been activated. Uh, we will be as forthcoming as possible with COVID issues. The biggest one, though, senior linebacker Amin Agbongbamiga. I hope that I said that right. I mean, we'll see. Uh, he is the first to experience it uh, firsthand. He announced on Tuesday that he tested positive, and then noted that he took part in a protest in Tulsa over the weekend. Now, this is what we talked about yesterday. Uh, we will see what what comes out of all these large gatherings, et cetera. That's right. Uh, if, if it becomes a massive deal, you know. Uh, we, we, yeah, we got to go back to square one, and we got to re-figure yeah. this thing out. Yeah, we're going to have to figure it all back out. But if we got three asymptomatic tests uh, that came back positive, you know, they've got a plan already, and we'll see what happens. Now, the biggest problem here is that freshmen cannot report now, and it's going to be, you know, Three or no, uh, another two weeks that these players are going to be quarantined, and do they continue on with the June fifteenth date for opening workouts? I mean, do they? So we'll we'll have to kind of pay attention. But that's what we were talking about. Uh, this is the first instance of it that we've seen. Uh, all the protests, all that kind of stuff. We wanted to know what the reaction was going to be, what the situation would look like afterwards, and we've already kind of seen. So obviously, we'll have to pay attention to that. Uh, it's. It's interesting, if if nothing else. Uh, Michael, by the way, jumps in. He said, uh, I received my date to select seats for this season. Uh, Michael is a Broncos season ticket holder. Uh, he said, no updates on if they'll allow fans, but just getting to select seats. So, that's definitely a good thing. We're moving in the right direction. He said, feels like that's leaning towards what Chris was saying about fans this season. Yeah. I'm Same still thing. I'm still taking all over bets. Oh, yeah. So, so about bet. the June 15th thing with these guys. Hey. They checked in June 1. We got three people popped. It's June 30th, 13th, sorry, June 3rd right now. They got a 14-day um, incubation period where they're going to isolate themselves. They'll be three days behind that June 15th start date. Everybody else is clean. If everybody else maintains clean, by June 18th, the whole team, whole staff, whole school, everybody in the football team will have been checked, isolated, and approved for workout. So you're talking about a football team that's made up of a couple hundred people, okay? Yeah, they, they, they did Maybe 150 hundred people, tests. Over 100 yeah. people, Yeah. all right? Three of them pop positive. Yeah, three out of that's 150. A, that, that's, that's, that's like a, like a 1.9 to almost 2%. Like, and this is just positive test rate. That's great numbers. That is that is great numbers for what is realistically a small sample size in the grand scheme of our population, but that's great numbers. Yes, back in back in March and April, it was uh, it was interesting and and it was massive news whenever somebody tested positive for the virus. Right yeah. now, not really. Somebody's gonna have to have it. It's yeah, not it's, it's not disappeared. I think you will see players on ninety percent of the teams out there that end up having it. I, well statistically and, they should. Now we used to say like thirty percent of the people have it, but so many are asymptomatic, so many are this, so many are that. The fact that less than three percent have it, even had the damn thing. Yeah. That's a big deal, I think. Yes. I think that's a positive thing. Yeah, no, you're uh, you're right. Uh, as much as it's fun to make fun of Gundy because he was just an <laughs> idiot about the whole thing, but, but 
Yeah, he, he don't look so dumb now. An idiot. He can still be an idiot about it, and this still be a positive thing and a good thing. Damien jumped in. He said, I really don't see sports happening at all if these riots keep happening, and especially if their martial law comes to play in this chaos. Um, again, it, I think this is just a blip on the radar. I don't think that we're going into martial law. Uh, it, everybody, We're, we're yeah. more positive about that. We just yeah. don't feel that that's going to happen. But we, no. I've been wrong before. so Yeah, and we'll probably be wrong again. I mean, I'd almost yeah. guarantee it. Uh, but, well, not even almost. I would guarantee we will be wrong about something going forward. But... Uh, but yeah, this situation, like I, I, I think this is a blip on the radar. I think things will, will calm down. Uh, calmer heads will prevail eventually. So, uh, Ben said, I saw an article saying that COVID is getting weaker and killing less people in Italy. So maybe that's happening here. I don't know if that's even true or not. Who knows? Uh, and he said, and the three percent were asymptomatic. Yes, I mean they're all uh, young, healthy. Yeah, you know, yeah, we assume them to be so, asymptomatic. Um, yeah. And then Ben said, anarchy. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, yes, it, it, all of the stuff that's coming out about COVID-19 right now, it, who knows, right? Like, obviously, we're getting into the warmer months. That's what doctors were talking about. Like, it, once you get into war, it's kind of it's kind of what the flu and viruses like that do. Again, it, I not mean, it comparing could be it to a the million flu. different things that are combining. We're not scientists. Yeah. There's a combination of we've opened up enough to where we're developing a bit of a herd immunity. There is the warmer months. There is like all of these different things going into effect. Social distancing was a good thing, not a bad thing. Okay. Yeah. It, and, and, and it's going to continue to be a good thing. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know, but it, it's just one of those deals where I, I don't know. I'll take, once again, I'm just, I'm going to take, a, I'll take all the overs I can get on attendance for, in, for the NFL. Yeah. For the NFL. And, and honestly, I think for college too, I think, I think, I think yeah, I mean, I really, if the NFL has fans, oh, you know, all these college st- stadiums are going to be like, come on, guys. They knew we can do it. Yeah, pretty much. Because you're no longer putting the students at danger by opening it up to fans. You know, yeah. all the fans breathing in the stadium aren't breathing on the players. That's, I don't, I don't think that's how viruses well, work. I don't and, think they can travel that far. And you're outside. Yes. Like, that's that's it. another part of it. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll, we'll obviously see, but we'll, oh, uh, yeah. Well, we're we're making guesses on all this shit because we don't know any oh, yeah. of this stuff. That's it. We we ain't never been accused of being smart. I tell you that. 